Hello Aquarius, this is your ex reading for January 31st through February the 6th. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe, guys. Let's see what's going on for you, my Aquarius. Four of Wands. Hmm, a lot of you are gaining stability. Um, some of you may have just gotten into a relationship or you've just made up with someone. But um, definitely gaining stability in your life in general here. Maybe um, you guys are, have a very active um, home life um, where you enjoy being around, you know, the people that's in your home or, you know, just kind of spending time there. Okay. Let's see what's going on for your ex here. What's going on with Aquarius's ex? King of Pentacles. Hmm. Somebody's thinking about um, the stability that you guys shared in the past, um, the commitment. Maybe the person that you're thinking about is um, this person likes commitment. I feel like they're very confident in themselves. They like um, they like to look attractive. They like attractive people. I feel like this person maybe can be a little stubborn, set in their ways even here. Okay. Let's see how you perceive your ex here. The King of Swords. Very kind of cold and aloof. Um, maybe they don't show a lot of emotion. Maybe you feel like you know they don't speak a whole lot they just kind of observe maybe they're kind of secretive even um i get the feeling you think this person is kind of cocky full of themselves okay lacking emotion let's see how your ex perceives you how does aquarius's ex perceive them pull this one out that one wants the flip hmm like they they're starting over um, maybe that they they like to initiate things. They like to date. Um, I feel like I feel like you think this person is is kind of manipulative for some reason. That um, they use their sexuality, the way they look, to get attention. And then when they get the attention, they act like they don't want it or they ignore the person. You even. Um, I think there was a lot of conflict with you guys in the way this person behaved. That maybe they didn't provide you the stability that you know you were seeking. Maybe they wanted you to like you know initiate things a lot, take the lead. Um, as far as a relationship is concerned, like I feel like you guys probably did a lot for this person. Is what I'm getting here. Okay like emotionally like you were the ones that like you know <laughs> this person acted like they could give or take you basically and you probably were showering them with attention okay let's see how you guys feel about getting back together with this person how you feel about getting together with this person hmm Some of you would like to get back together with this person and just kind of let, let bygones be bygones. But others of you, you're just wanting to move on like without them. I think, you know, a lot of you guys are just really, really hurt. And I don't think that you want to like revisit that. You don't want to do that again. Because I feel like the situation was way hurtful for you. Um, and it's something that, that will be with you for a long time. Like you won't forget it. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what your ex's feelings are about getting back together here. Aquarius' ex. Three of Pentacles. Hmm. I feel like this person is currently... Um, either they are like trying to date people that they work with or they're just really trying to to like throw themselves into work into projects um, I feel like they're doing something right now that that takes a lot of their focus and attention okay 
and it involves working with other people. I feel like it's something financial though, okay? So either this person is, is trying to like date somebody that they work with or they're trying to build um, like a business or there's something that they're, they're trying to work on that um, they feel like is going to be better for them lucrative even here some of them have started a new business that they're very passionate about here okay hmm. some of them actually do want to work with you guys um, and, and maybe you guys also work together for some of you maybe this is your boss that we're talking about here um, but I feel like, you know, some of them actually do, they do want to compromise with you, work with you, but they're, they're still very not emotionally present, okay? They're mo more focused on, like, um, their appearance, how much money they have, you know, that sort of thing, okay? Let's see what you guys can do. To increase the chances of reconciliation here. The Page of Pentacles. I think it's more for you guys to focus on something else. Find something that um, continue to move on. And in doing that, find something else that you can um, focus your concentration on. Okay? Start new things. Do, do things that you know you feel like are going to benefit you. And, and take your focus away from this person, okay? Take your focus away from this person um, and put it somewhere else. Don't pay them any attention because I feel like you guys, you know, you were the ones, like I said, that were like, you know, really holding this relationship together when you guys were together, okay? So let's see how they can increase their chances of reconciliation with you. Page of Pentacles. You guys are coming as a Page of Pentacles. The difference is with their Page of Pentacles, they feel like you cut them off. I feel like this person is watching your progress because I feel like um, they see you being happy. They see you getting your home together. They see you really not giving them very much thought here. And I feel like they need to, you know, show themselves here. Show themselves if they need to make an apology, make an apology. Um, but I think they don't want to be rejected is what I'm getting here. But I feel like there's a need for them to show themselves, make an apology, um, extend an olive branch to you to have a conversation. You know, but, you know, whatever it is, it needs to be something that is very stable and grounded that they present to you. Okay, because I get the feeling that this person is kind of closed off. And the more I look at this, I don't really feel like they are seeing anybody. If they are, it's not serious at all. Um, but I think this person is more focused on their money at this time. Um, and they're really not wanting to be rejected because it would do a lot for their ego. Because I feel like their ego is like um, humongous. But they definitely want to come towards you is what I'm getting here. And they need to if they want to increase their chances and, um, you know, make a solid offer to you guys is what I'm getting here, okay? So let's see what the potential outcome is for Aquarius and their ex. What is the potential outcome here? The potential outcome for Aquarius and their ex. Hmm. King of Wands. We have three kings here now. Um, you know, this may be a same-sex partnership, but I feel like um, I don't really see this as you guys coming together. I see both of you really just kind of standing your ground doing what you're doing currently um, for this upcoming week. But I see that um, you know, you, you guys both have your interests, you know, steered elsewhere. 
there are things that you guys are doing to kind of you know keep your mind off of getting back together and I feel like both of you are really kind of standing in your element in your power and your masculine energy okay there is no feminine energy here so you know in order for the attraction to be there whether it's two males whether it's a male and female um, you know there needs to be like this level of um, masculine energy as well as feminine energy for the attraction to be there okay so I think both of you are um, very controlled right now and not making a move towards um, each other okay for this week because this is only for a week guys the energy can shift and change and do all kinds of things okay so that's what I have for you and we also have um, Capricorn energy here um, Aquarius like yourself could be an Aquarius but um, we have Aries here we have Taurus energy as well okay so you guys I will be speaking with you soon and um, bye now